Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Creative Design. I'm Isabel, brand designer from Ottawa, Canada. And today is actually the last episode of this series. I can't believe how quick this went. Um, and I have to say that this journey has been amazing for me because this was my first Adobe Live community show. And I have learned so much along the way, not only about myself, but even some working techniques. And I hope that I was able to share them with you. And I'm going to share some more today. We have, again, like a very, very packed session. I want to say hi to Oliver. I want to say hi to Christy, to Arshia, Joshua, Rob. I saw Jack too. So good to see you all here. So let's get into it today. I want to start by doing a recap just to show everyone like what we have been doing up to today. So uh, I have updated all of the documents that I have shared with you throughout this full journey. So if you can see, they all have like a better and like more cohesive look right now. Um, and it was kind of crazy when I like was building all this, even like the content for this show, because uh, I was building a brand within a brand, <laughs> which was definitely interesting. So as usual, we have a contest. And I want to say that today we have not one, but three uh, zines to give away. I have them right here. Hold on, I'm gonna pull them up right here. Uh, so this is the new zine, oops, from the Ottawa Design Club. And they are gorgeous. They're just under 200 pages. There's specialty printing in there. So stay until the end. I'm gonna give you a word to write in the chat and this will be your chance to win a zine. It's more like a book. It's like a fancy, fancy zine. Also, you will like added to this, there will be the creative juice uh, zine foldable into a poster <laughs> that you can see here added to this packet. So a lot of giveaways today. I feel like I'm like opera right now. Like, you get a car, you get a car. I wish I could give cars. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not uh, a millionaire just yet. <laughs> um, so stay tuned until the end. So uh, if you're new to this, what is a zine? It's like a small circulation publication uh, with images and text. Usually the difference between a magazine and a zine is that there is no advertising and you can choose the project that you or the project or whatever the content that you want to feature. Uh, so this here is, we're starting the recap. So as you can see, oh shoot, I'm missing an image here, but we basically started with AI. So we started with uh, Firefly. It was still back then when we could not use the images for commer commercial use. And um, we did like a lot of searching for that. So if I go here, actually, Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of feedback. I'm just gonna, there you go. So we started here with the, like the full character process. Like I, I did not know what I wanted until I was talking to a friend and I said, hey, like I need some creative juice to get like a, a concept for this live. And then that's actually where everything started for me. And then to have like the um, uh, reference to build this character, I went into AI, which was super cool, Firefly. This was a lot of different images to use. Then for the like I wanted it to become a mascot. So then I went to Adobe stock in order to find some inspiration there, but not only that to also build the asset. And as you know, I always love like a bit of not a bit. I'm like definitely digital to analog and I like to have like a process that's, that goes in between the two. I like to have dummies. So I like just to make sure that the content and I would have some stories to illustrate. I made sure to have some dummies um, like that I made here myself and then just explored the, the, the topic with that to see if it would work. And it did. So after that, we created our series of characters with their personalities, having personalities definitely helped to build the storytelling. And then we built libraries, which that image is also not showing up. So this here is like our library. There was a lot there. Let me just go back to this. We built the visual identity. We built some stories. We 
I gave you some templates. We didn't build it together, but you can definitely download them and use them. In order to do this, you have to download at the very bottom here. It's like hard to see, but there's like a, um, a mini cloud with an arrow looking down. So you can download the document and then you'll have access to all of the offered gifts that are offered to you. Then obviously tested everything. We laid out the zines. Then we learn how to fold the zines. And yes, it is like probably something that you did similar in high school. I had a lot of people saying, I had so many flashbacks when looking at your stuff. We learn how to cut the zine. There's videos for, like, to use as reference with both scissors and an exacto. We created some merch in order to build that world and to have something to offer more than the zine for your audience. And now it's the time <laughs> we need to launch all this. <laughs> so we need to launch this, this, uh, this zine into the world. So in the document that I'm offering you today, I'm giving you tons of ideas that you can build on for a launch campaign. So there's like teasers behind the scenes, like graphic, de uh, sorry, designer insights, like interactive stuff. So a lot of stuff that you can do for um, like reels, some posts, um, even some newsletters, if you have one, um, this is always a, a starting point and it's good to have, um, just some ideas to like, maybe build on, like, I'm not saying that these is, are the best and revolutionary, but something that you can definitely build on. Oops. I skipped ahead. So in order to build a campaign, something that I would like to do today is I don't want to do like bye bye. I want to open up a universe. Um, I want the audience to understand a bit more of CJ and how playful she is and all that. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into Illustrator and go back to our library assets where we I cleaned it up a little bit because every time I keep adding to it. <laughs> um, and um, in order to bring everything into Adobe Express, because this is where I want to build everything, I want all of my assets to be there. I want to be able to export all of this really easily. So how do you do that? So basically, I'm going to go and use the artboard tool. And as you can see, we have a lot of different like artboards size, but I'm going to remove that, like remove the big ones just by select, um, selecting it and deleting it like so. And if I actually click on each of the assets individually like this, just once, it will actually create an artboard behind all of your characters, your assets, and you can do the exact same for the speech bubbles here. Let me do that here. I'm just going to delete that. Same thing. And you get the idea. So because this is highly repetitive, I'm not going to bore you with all that, but as you can see what it does here, it's actually perfect. So I have already did all of that ahead of time for you, except these, because I didn't feel like this were going to be needed for what I want to do in um, Adobe Express today. But you can then go to file and go to export. I want to have everything as PNG. I'm just going to go into, I'm going to create a new folder, call it assets two. And I'm going to make sure that I check this here, use artboards and do export. I make sure that it's transparent because I don't want to have any white background. You can also, like if you want a white background or a black, you can also click this and check this. But for what we're trying to do, I don't want that. So I'm just going to keep transparent, do OK. And then everything just like that is going to be exported. Uh, I see um, that we have maybe a question in the chat. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> Oh, where are you from? I'm so sorry. Okay. So it's a question within the chat. Perfect. Well, if you're wondering, I'm from Ottawa, Canada, which I mentioned at the beginning. <laughs> so 
um, if we go here to Adobe Express, so if, if you, um, Adobe Express is an online, um, I guess you, can you call it a software or like app? Maybe an app. <laughs> and you want to build those libraries just to be able to click and drag everything really easily. So you would go here into your stuff. Let me see if I can actually, oh yes, I can make that bigger. Your stuff, libraries. And then you can create a new library. But again, in order to save time, I wanted to just show you what everything that you can do. Also, if I were to download all this while I was also live streaming on video, that would have been a lot <laughs> for my computer to do all at once. So as you can see, all of the assets are here. I actually took the time to also download the font. So if you click here, um, I did an upload. Unfortunately, the font that I use for this is not an Adobe font, but no problem because you can download them here. And I also took the time to add all of the colors from the brand. So this is really important, but because the way that we have been setting up this project from the very beginning where we created this asset and it did take a bit of time to get to what we wanted to do, but the fact that we have spent the time to organize our files now makes it super efficient, not only to do the March uh, that we saw last time, but also to do this here. Okay. So now I want to create a story just to, again, like launch into the world that um, CJ is exists. <laughs> so if you are like me, you like Illustrator a lot. We have worked a lot in Illustrator and we did some, um, some fancy stuff, right? With the layers and all that. Uh, so you know how to use Illustrator and, and I'm going to show you how to go in between the two. This is something that I often do all the time is I like just hop from app to app in design, Photoshop. <laughs> I don't have a clear process for, for everything <laughs> that I do. So a story um, canvas is 1080 for the width by 1920. I'm going to do five. Let's do six artboards. I actually don't want bleed. So I'm going to remove that. Because it's going to go on a phone, a web, I could do 72 DPI just to be safe. I like to do 150. There's no rules to that. It's just me who is, who likes to be safe. If ever I need to use it for something else, but it's vectorized. So it should be okay. Here, I would like to see everything in a linear way because I'm going to build a mini story with my stories. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to go to artboard and I'm going to rearrange my artboards. I'm going to go to this one because I want them in a row and I want to make sure there's enough spacing between them. So I'm going to do 40 pixels. And there you go. Just going to make sure that it is saved. Perfect. Now, again, using the assets because we can just copy paste everything and make it super fast again. I want to make CJ dance. Um, and the fact that we have a library of expressions and, and arms and, and feet already, this is really easy so we can actually um, just use CJ's body and change the arms and the legs and make her dance. And in Adobe Express, we will kind of be building a stop motion. So knowing that we can copy this here and make sure they were already the right size for the stories. I wanted this, I basically just um, reflected the body and put different arms and, and legs because I wanted her to move around or look as if she was spinning. 
and I'm going to go here as well and grab the legs and arms and bring it here. And the fact that I have my logos here very easily, can easily bring them here. So this artboard is about to get super messy outside. And I want my colors too. But once we have everything there, we won't need to jump back into the assets. Okay. I just want to make sure that there is no stroke around the colors because I'm going to use that for my backgrounds and use as a reference um, to do the like to color pick. All right. So because CJ has a lot of personality, I want to make sure that from this color palette, I'm going to be using a very saturated color. I really like this pink here. So I'm going to do something and maybe this is cheating. <laughs> you can tell me chat, like, what do you think? But I'm going to draw a big shape like this, color it pink like that and lock it. The reason why I'm doing that is because whenever we'll be exporting these, sometimes I've noticed that if you do like the proper shape and there's like that tiny pixel that's missing and, and I can show you exactly what I mean here. Sometimes you could be doing this. But then when you export, oops, sorry. I want to color it so you can see it. Sometimes I, this is actually perfect, but sometimes it's just like that. And you can't see it from afar. Like that, it looks like it's okay. But then when you export it, you actually see it missing and it's transparent because that's the um, like settings that you have for exporting. So that's why I like to just do a big shape like so. And it's bleeding around. And I know, oops, that I won't have this issue. So let me lock that. Now, what I do want is the logo in the middle. I'm going to bring that to the front. Actually, I'm saying true. So you have encountered this problem. The ones that I hate the most for this problem is whenever it's a post and then someone shares that post onto their stories and then you can see like a white, tiny, tiny line. It's a one pixel. This drives me bananas. Um, <laughs> it's uh, maybe because like... I'm very prone to details like this. And that's the first thing that I see. Um, just like jumps. I know like people that aren't designers might not see it, but this specific um, content here would be for designers because or creatives, right? We're talking about creativity and finding ways to basically fill up on, fill up your cup with that creative juice. So knowing the audience, they would notice those tiny details. So I just want here to make sure that everything is aligned. I'm gonna center that. So I'm just uh, selecting the logo and because I am on the specific art artboard, I'm using the align tool and it's aligning with the artboard, which you know what? I actually learned this very recently. <laughs> I did not know that trick. Okay. And then I also want to make sure that CJ is always at the center and that her body itself, like the juice box, isn't moving and it's everything around that is moving. So I'm going to ungroup this. Actually, I'm going to do a copy ungroup it just going to have her body on its own group that 
bring it to the front. Just make it a tad bigger. There you go. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the logos. And the last two, I'm actually going to just reflect them on the other side. So vertical. Okay. It's kind of weird that it's like not used to seeing CJ. I've always made her look like this way here. Um, it's funny how it changes the, a bit of the reading. And then same thing, I'm just going to make sure it's aligned. So then it's always in the same spot. Basically what it's going to do whenever we add this in the stop motion, it's going to give a focal point because it's not moving. And then I think it's just going to make it um, like just dance around and um, it's going to look like a stop motion, like exact, like I don't want it to be a seamless, a uh, nice animation. I want it to look like uh, fragmented if you want. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the chat. Um, it has been so cool to see uh, the project develop. Izzy put so much work, mysteries in color. Mysteries in color, Mazarin, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Mazarin is a good friend of mine. Um, and uh, she is a wonderful artist. So if you can check out her profile, it's definitely a, a treat for the eyes. Okay, so now I want to add the legs. And I'm going to give you the idea for this. I'm not going to do them all because we have a lot to do in Adobe Express itself. I also, <laughs> whenever I see this, this hand, like gesture, like, I don't know who dances like this. Uh, I personally don't, but I think it's so cool. Uh, I also don't necessarily go dancing uh, so much anymore. Those were the days, they were really fun. <laughs> um, I do remember going to a wedding and a friend of mine uh, was actually dancing with the peace sign like this uh, the whole night. It was uh, a very fun, uh, fun wedding. I, I don't think he remembers much of it. I'm just trying to find like the proper height and width for the arms let's just like put it a bit up so there's some dimension then bring this back up there you go and as you can see you would be building um like just like adding the assets around all of these here The last one I kept open for a specific reason, because at the end of your, your reel or story, you want to have a call to action for people to engage, specifically for trying to um, have the audience click on something, buy something or whatever it may be. You want them to have like a, a call to action would be like, watch this or click here or make sure that you're directing them. So for this, I'm going to be doing a dual, like a, a, <laughs> like a dual, um, how can I say this? Uh, like I want, I don't want necessarily people to buy, but I want people to watch this stream. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go here to the assets and use the QR code because this goes to my website where I have um, some of the streams I have to update it I have only four at the moment on my website isn't it a problem um like updating a website is so difficult I don't know for all of you but it's like whenever you're done for the day you're I mean I personally don't have a nine to five I'm a freelancer so I work all the time <laughs> but uh whenever it's the end of the day it's really tough for me to say okay I'm going to 
update my website. So let me know if you have the same problem. But I will update it and everything's going to be on that page that you can scan to. So here it just says creative design with Easy Poirier on Adobe Live. But I want to make sure that there's also that call to action, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to do. Oh, actually, let me undo that. I'm actually going to duplicate because I want it to be the same as this. And here, I'll write watch. And I want to make sure that it's like in your face because again, it's going really fast on someone's phone. So I want to put them all with all caps like so. Okay. And just to give it a bit more depth, I'm going to put it white. So watch creative design, perfect. And then just because we can and we have it, <laughs> I want to direct the viewer or whoever is consuming that content to the word watch. And they say that in marketing or whatsoever, like if whenever they see someone like in a picture looking at something, that's going to direct like the person on the other end also look in that direction. So I'm going to use uh, this expression and use it right here. And I think it's also kind of a nice wink to the full series and how like we built everything and there you go. So this would be here, oops, your call to action. I'm just going to save that quickly. And at the end, it would look like this. So as you can see here, you have like different uh, movement and you can clearly see, even though it's not moving, that CJ is dancing and here she's doing a mini spin. And this, I'm almost wondering like, is this some sort of moonwalk? I don't know how to animate that. I am no animator <laughs> to save my life, but um, like this here, like that's that's the, the move that was going on in my mind. So we would do here the same thing. We would export and actually let me just show you without the trim view. I still did <laughs> that, that full background and it worked perfectly. So here, actually this needs to breed a little more for me. So I would go here, file, export, export as. Just want to make sure stories for express. I'm going to do use artboard, export, and all the presets are good. And perfect. And now let's go have fun in Adobe Express. So I want to create an Instagram story, but I want to create it from scratch. Here, you make sure that it's photos and I'm going to do upload from device. You're going to be tempted potentially to just have everything to just bring all of them, but I want you to bring one at a time and I'll show you why. And what I absolutely love about exporting um, with Illustrator is that whenever you have multiple artboards, it's actually going to number them. So I have placed them strategic strategically. So now I can just look at the, and even if I did like a list like this, one, two, three, like I know which ones that I need first and second and, and so on. So I'm going to open that, place it like so. And then I just wanna make sure that I have my timeline. Just going to go back because I have put this very big and I'm not seeing everything that I need to see. And it's cool because I exited it, but then I can just go back here. Uh, 
uh, sorry, just so I want to make sure that I'm back to where I was. want to there you go media that's what i want so photo i want to bring another one the thing is is now i have two but i'm not seeing my timeline at the bottom let me just do a refresh like that cuz the timeline here is very important Maybe if I added an audio right now, it would give me my timeline. Because in order to build that stop motion, I need to be adding multiple um, like images side by side. Right now, what I have done is I have layers. See, as you can see here, and it's the layers of our building here. But, and you know what? Adobe Express is fairly new, so it's okay to experiment and it's okay to be lost sometimes. <laughs> Oops, and you can also do Control um, Command Z or Control Z for this. Um, so I already did some research and I know exactly the type of music that I wanted to add to this. I'm going to add it now. It won't make sense in the process, but I just want that timeline to be showing. So um, I really liked, it was called Summer Future. Um, and let base, it was kind of like a cool dancey. So I just want to make sure there you go. So now I have a timeline. Perfect. That's what I wanted. I'm not crazy. Um, so we're just going to like, yeah, come back with the sound because it is a stop motion and you want to give that illusion of fast movement. You, it needs to be going like the frames needs to be going super fast. So here it's actually at five seconds. So that's way too long. So I'm going to bring it at 0.2 second. And then I'm going to do add scene. And then this is when I want to add the other image. So here I'm going to make it just fill in and I'm going to do the same. Same for three. And 0.2 millisecond. Add scene again. We're almost done. And it's nice because once you're done, after, if you have been using Express, there is, like if ever you share something, they ask you for feedback. So here, a feedback that I would like to give is maybe to have something that like uh, already puts everything on like uh, on the frame instead of me having to stretch the image, like just having it sit perfectly. Um, but I'm sure they're working on it because Adobe just knows. <laughs> knows that how are we gonna use this and they are really good with studying how we use the softwares and stuff like that for us to just be more efficient. Okay, perfect. And just because I don't want this to be the last move because it's a little intense, um, I will duplicate the before last one. So if I go here to Illustrator, I want to duplicate this one. So I'm going to click on the three dots and do duplicate and just bring it right after. I'm going to remove the sound for now because I still want to be talking over it and then I have my timeline. So perfect. I want to show you quickly what it's doing. So if I hit play, see how it's like, it's very, very short though, right? Because it's millisecond. So what I want to do here is repeat that sequence a few times in order to have like this full <laughs> dance mood. Uh, yes. So to make sure that all of my friends are selected and I want to select more at once because I want to duplicate all of them, I can click in the middle. They are very small because there are uh, milliseconds, right? So I'm going to 
click in the middle, hold my command key, select them all. Go here to the three dots, duplicate. Then it did it. Now I'm gonna do that one more time. Click in the middle, hold the command key. I'm not sure what it would be on a PC. I'm so sorry. Maybe control or shift. And I'm going to do duplicate again. Perfect. So now it gives us like a bit more room to play with. So if I hit play here, I'm just going to bring this back to the beginning. So we have a bit more leeway, right? Like that, and we can clearly understand that CJ is dancing. Now, if we, I just want to go back because we have added the library, we're not going to use the libraries for like this specific post, but I do want to show you that you could go here to um, uh, your stuff and brand libraries and I have creative juice over here and I have all of my colors I have my fonts I have all of the speech bubbles that I could add like this then I could type something on it it's there for you to use if you again like do everything properly for whenever you want to do something quick um, this one takes a bit more time now I want to add the last scene, which would be the call to action. So I'm going to go back to media, photo, upload, and it was the last one that we have this watch creative design. Oh, hi, Niall. Nice to see you here. Hopefully you like this, uh, this live stream and this, I want to keep long enough because I want to give time for people to either take a screenshot or see, oh, it's creative design, then I'm going to search for creative design. So if we, again, put everything all together, she's dancing. <laughs> and then we have that call to action. So enough time. It's really hard to know what, like to see the full vision without music. Um, so if we go here to audio, what I really like is that you can actually have, like you have a lot of selections for music and this is going to truly elevate your animation. So um, you can click here and, and play some music, but like I, like I said, I have made a research ahead of time and it was called Future, uh, oops, sorry, Summer Future Bass. But you can be here for hours just listening to beats. And there's a lot of different genres. You can also search for the type of genre that you want to, that you want, that you're looking for essentially. So let me just click this and let's play to see if this is the right fit for um, CJ. Okay, one, two, three. I think it's quite good. So let me add it. It's been added. And what I love too, is that it's being added perfectly to the length of what I had. And now I'm going to play everything to show you how everything is coming to life. So let's go here. Then I'm going to do play. What do we think? <laughs> do we like it? Um, and it's crazy because we were able to build this in under like what, 30 minutes? <laughs> um, so I'm pretty happy about this, but I also want to be talking over this. Like I wanna make sure that people understand, like, like hear my voice specifically that in this case, I'm inviting people to watch a live stream, right? So again, I'm going to go to media and I, if I click here on the music, I don't want the music to be a hundred percent because I want to have a voiceover. So I'm going to just lower the volume to 30% or I could also use the bar here. 
going to come back to media and I'm going to do record voice over. <clears throat> okay. If you have a microphone, I have a microphone here. So I'm going to select this just because it's not going to pick up all of the sound bouncing in, in the room. I'm going to get closer. Joshua saying, love it. Thank you. <laughs> it's about to get better. Okay. You can click start recording. It's going to give you a countdown and then you can record your voice. So hold on. I need to channel a bit of my radio voice right now. <laughs> and I have written down like a mini speech on that post-it note right here to say, but I might have to do it a few times in order to get like the, the right energy. Okay. So I'm going to do start recording. Discover the world of CJ and her zine tested universe. Scan the QR code and follow along the journey. See you there. Okay, I wanted to make sure that it was not that like that it was the same length, but I realized that it was just a little bit. Um I was seeing it a little too fast. So I'm going to delete it. I just want to make sure that oh yeah, that's the voiceover. I'm gonna do that again. And no matter what, I will actually adjust the reel itself to fit what I have to say. So don't like, yeah, don't do the opposite as I was doing it first. Again, it's a learning process for everyone. Start recording. Discover the world of CJ and her zine-tastic universe. Scan the QR code and follow along the journey. See you there. How was that for a radio voice? <laughs> and actually, this is perfect because I've actually finished before the end of the reel. So that's good. So I'm actually going to delay this a little bit just so it doesn't start with like sound like, like a voiceover right away. Just give it a, it's technically a millisecond. And I'm going to play this again with the voiceover and please let me know what you think. Discover the world of CJ and her zine-tastic universe. Scan the QR code and follow along the journey. See you there. Oh, and it did add here a scene before. So I'm just going to delete that. And yeah, the audio has adjusted properly. I'm just going to do it one more time just to make sure that everything is good. Discover the world of CJ and her zine-tastic universe. Scan the QR code and follow along the journey. See you there. I mean, I don't know for, for you, but I'm very, very happy with this. So um, a little low in the middle. Oh, so you would <laughs> you would want me to redo the voiceover, uh, Arshia? That's okay. I think it's because of the, the music that we can't hear um, my voice. So we can maybe turn down the music to 20 percent let's do that and then if i click on the voiceover it's actually at a hundred percent let's see if this is a little better and this will be the last time i play this i swear okay but i have to admit i really like seeing cj dancing like this okay one two three discover the world of cj in her zine tastic universe scan the qr code and follow along the journey see you there I think this was a, uh, a lot better. <laughs> um, so I'm personally very happy with it. So once you're, you're all done, you can click here, the download button, and you can select whatever like that you want here. We, we, we would need to have an MP4 because it's a, it's um, a video, but what I absolutely love about Adobe Express is that you can share and I have already linked my Instagram account, so I'm gonna click Instagram. And I wanna do a story. And hold on, it's thinking. <laughs> Uploading video. Should we do an, an upload dance? Whenever I have to wait for stuff like this, I usually do an Adobe Live dance like this. It's not the best moves. It's not like CJ for sure. 
Joshua, yes, Adobe Express is so powerful. There's so much that you can do with it. It is insane. So, okay, I have, everything has been downloaded. I can do a preview like so. I mean, I'm not gonna do play because you just kind of see the same thing again. Um, but I'm gonna do publish now. And it should be published. <laughs> if you want to check out for yourself, you can go to at RD underscore Izzy on an Instagram to see if it has been published. I mean, I would do it myself, but it would be a little rude to do that on a live on my phone. <laughs> But yes, uh, to your point, Jack, this did come together very, very quickly. And this is not only with the power of Adobe Express, but also with the power of organizing your files and just shaping it in a way that is just going to help you to do efficient uh, like work. It's daunting at the beginning. Trust me, it is. Like, I know. <laughs> but it's just, it makes for a very easy process a little later. So I want to go back to um, the presentation that I have made for you today. And this is a few things that you can be doing. So these are little gifts here, which you can also download from, um, if I go back here, when you do download, can you do a GIF? Oh, no, you can't. Well, I transform, actually, you can actually download this as a, as a video and then transform it into a GIF. But um, these are some ideas. I love doing this with the expressions as well, which is super fun. And uh, I wanted to show you a little something as well. So because this is the last uh, episode of this series, I wanted to do something special for you. Um, <laughs> So we have, I have given you the opportunity to download a eight, eight by, sorry, eight and a half by 11 zine that you can print at home in both color and black and white. But I wanted to have something special. So I made one, I'm, I invented a new character, which is Eggnog. Um, <laughs> And, and she basically brings the festivity to CJ who is feeling a little rundown. Let me open that actually in Illustrator so I can show you a bit more of the details. Is it in my recent files? It is. I basically used, it's very messy as you can see, but basically use the same principles of what we have been uh, using throughout this whole journey together. But let me, just focus on this frame right here because I just love the puns and I had to share. <laughs> um, so basically CJ is feeling a little low because um, I mean, I don't know for you, but I am completely run down. It's been a crazy quarter. There's like a lot of nights that I haven't slept uh, in order to do everything. And um I, it's hard for me to feel festive when I'm already mega tired. So eggnog came to the rescue. <laughs> so here, uh, basically eggnog is saying, CJ, my dear, you only needed a little nog to egg spend your horizons, which I think, I mean, who doesn't love a good pun? Um, and here, um, to, in order to put the nice um, pattern, I basically just, again, use like the perspective and um, uh, what's it called again? This here. The shape. Clipping mask. Oh, wow. That was um, a little brain fart here <laughs> to, to put that here. But we have seen everything like to in order for you to build this, if you wanted to recreate it, we have seen it before. Um, so this is available for you to download. Um, with the festive poster and that beautiful pattern that you see at the back is actually from Adobe Stock. Um, I also wanted to mention that every document has been updated. So let's say this is your first stream and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to go back to the beginning. You can download this document that is offered and you can click the episodes and all of the documents that comes along with it um, and just you know, be crazy, do your, like, uh, your full zine journey. And uh, I'm going to build on Behance a full case study about this. I'm going to add some learnings that I have 
learned from this uh, full stream, which there was a lot. <laughs> So I'm going to be adding that. So make sure to like, just check that out. Before we wrap up, I want to make sure that we have the time for the draw. And okay, so the word of the day would, I think it will be, how about zine with three exclamation mark? That's the word of the day for the content. So the first, not the first, but please right now, Put it in the chat, both on YouTube and Behance, because I'm going to look at both. And I'm just going to have to wait a little bit for that to come in. <laughs> oh, Ryan, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I see Heather as well. Thank you. <laughs> OK. The words are coming in. There is a bit of a delay between me talking and, and like what I see in the chat. So, <laughs> so yes, make sure to add that zine with three explanation mark in order to win a zine. Let me show them again for you to for that little nog for you to write it down. <laughs> I guess. Um, so this zine actually is if we just launched it at the beginning of of November and there is some specialty printing in here. If you like print like like I do, there is some gold, there is some neons, there is um, some iridescent. Actually, we can see the iridescent really well on the cover right here. See like that letters, it's, it's hard on the camera, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous zine. So you don't want to, to miss out on this. There's some beautiful artworks for inspiration like so. Okay, so I see some I see some names. So uh, I have um, like Ar Arshia, you're a winner. Thank you so much, Joshua, and and we'll do Monica as well. So thank you so much for participating, staying for the full stream. Make sure to reach out to my Instagram or my Behance. I'd love to know your address for for me to send you this and a creative design like this as well so make sure to fo follow me and um until next time this has been a wonderful journey make sure to go back and check everything and um yeah <laughs> we have a few more minutes so what should we do should we go back to maybe okay so I guess we can wrap it. So we'll wrap it. Thank you so much for everything. And it's been, it's been wonderful for all of this. Thank you so much until next time.